Hello, I'm Adam Sparks, Vanderbilt Beat Reporter at the Tennessee, and here with John Adams, a columnist of the Knoxville News Sentinel. We've got two big games starting on a Thursday night to kick off the college season. Uh, two in-state games we have a lot of eyes on. Appalachian State, Tennessee at Neyland. What are you looking for in that first game? Adam, I'm looking for Tennessee to come out and make quick work of Appy State. If Tennessee is good as everybody thinks it is, if it's really a top 10 team, it won't let Appalachian State hang around in this game. Yeah, there's always a trouble in that first one if you can look like what you're supposed to. I want to see specifically Josh Dobbs complete a high percentage of passes, look like a crisp passing quarterback because he's going to have games he doesn't do that. He needs to do it against Appalachian State. The other game is on West End that I will be covering, South Carolina at Vanderbilt. Uh, John, what do you want to see out of Andy in that first one? This is a great opportunity for Vanderbilt and the SEC to get off on the right track. The, there are four teams at the bottom of the SEC East, Missouri, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, and South Carolina. You win those three games, beat the other three opponents, Vanderbilt's going to a bowl game. And I think this is a great opportunity playing at home, South Carolina with a new coach, Vanderbilt can win this game. Yeah, I think uh, South Carolina would be one of those toss-up games in the SEC for Vanderbilt. And Vandy's got a few of those. They've lost uh, three, the last three season openers, two under Mason, one under James Franklin. And this is a chance if they win this one that there's an opportunity to win three or four games in the first month of the season. But you have to start it off right with a win over South Carolina.